Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I am here in my garage this morning because I want to show you um, spit bugs. I want to show you how much room I have in here now. It feels like I have some room. I don't know, there's not that much room in here, but yesterday I did a free day where I have been collecting stuff for like months in the garage of stuff that I wanted to get rid of. Some stuff I was trying to sell and I had stuff listed and just wasn't selling and I was just collecting stuff in the garage. Um, yesterday I put it all out on the curb and I posted like in you know, town groups and stuff and free groups that I had free stuff out and a lot of stuff went like there's only a little bit left. Um, I'm going to put the rest of it that I have out again today after the garbage men come um, and then whatever's left after that. Stop playing with that. Um, whatever's left after that, I'll bring to the donation place or whatever. Um, Mommy. What? I want this light on. We don't need the light on, buddy. We have the sun. No, I I'm not going over there. There's stuff all in the way. Um, but yeah, let me show you my big space in the garage now. <laughs> okay, so I know it doesn't look that great. You're probably like, wow, there's still a lot of stuff in here. And there is. But yesterday, Mommy. this... What, buddy? You might have to move... Yeah, you know, that's daddy's stuff, and I just told daddy about that this morning. I told him that he has bins in here, and he said he's going to go through them, so uh, hopefully we can get that stuff out of here, too. But anyway, this whole section here, all against these doors, was full of stuff to give away. So now it's all empty, and it's nice. It's like, I feel like, you know, we can walk in here a little bit. It's not a big, it's not a big garage, so it's a one-car garage, and uh, we have a lot of stuff in here, like... Just like house stuff that people vacuum. need. You're gonna vacuum? No, don't vacuum right now because I'm recording. Hold on, you can vacuum in a minute, okay? I put their train tracks here because I had them in the basement, but it's so heavy, it's just easier to put it in the garage and bring it inside that way if they want to play with it. But I can't keep that in the house all the time because it's so big. And then these two chairs are gonna go back to my mom's house, and she wants to spin too, so she's gonna have that. What, buddy? In there is nothing, buddy. We have vacation bags in there. We have some cooler bags for vacation. And we have Christmas stuff. No, I'm not going to open everything. And then and this is a few more things I'm going to put out after the garbage men come. Just like toys, a couple of books. There's like Fisher Price Farm. Um, it's like a really nice white cotton blanket that is a queen size. And it's too small for our king bed. I even tried it. I was like, maybe I can make it work, but it's too small. And then I have like Euro pillows that I hardly used. I bought them and then I hardly used them. I used them for like a couple months, just like decorations on the bed. Um, so yeah, that stuff will go out in a little bit. Then I have these bins here that are empty. This is Greg's, this is Greg's, and <laughs> this is Greg's. Uh, empty storage bins. Greg's, 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 Greg's. Greg's. <laughs> And this is Greg's too. And that's all Greg's too, so. He's got a lot of stuff to go through. Hopefully he will do that soon. And then maybe we'll have like this cleared out here and we'll have an even bigger space, so. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump in here real quick just to say thank you to Love Every. They recently gifted us a new play kit for the kids and this is just one of the toys that came with it. It's like a little wipe clean board with different little puzzles and activities to do and then you just wipe it clean and do it again. Super cute and it even comes with a little bag to keep it in. You could bring it in the car or bring it to a restaurant. So if you don't know what Love Every is, they are a stage-based play kit subscription. So every three months or so, they'll send you a new play kit based on the stage or age that your child is at. And they recently expanded their kits to go up to four years old, which is awesome because Noah is four. So this one we got is perfect for him. So if you want to try Love Every for your kids, I will have a link in the description. And yeah, just again, a huge thank you to Love Every for sending this over to us. Okay, so it's the next day now. It's Saturday. Um, yesterday, I didn't really vlog anything. We just went swimming and I left my camera at home and yeah, spent the day at my mom's house. Had Wendy's for dinner over there and then we just went home. Um, but yeah, it's Saturday and I am in a good mood because I'm out by myself. <laughs> um, yeah, the kids are home. I came out to go to Marshall's, just look around. Um, and I, then after this, I think I'm going to go to the paint store and pick up just a quart of white, like, trim paint because I'm about to run out of that. Um, 
But yeah, I'm gonna go in. I got some things I'm looking for. We'll see how I do. Marshalls is always a very like hit or miss store. Like sometimes they have a lot and sometimes I really don't have anything. So we'll see how I do. I really want to go to like TJ Maxx and Home Goods too, but that's like way down the highway. I don't know. Maybe I'll go there too. We'll see. Okay, well, that was fun. I spent a lot of time browsing and I thought I was doing really good and I had a bunch of stuff in my little like cart thing. I took one of the things that you roll around behind you to the store and it was so annoying. Like I'm never going to take one of those again. The handle kept like falling down. The thing kept falling over. I was having more trouble <laughs> with that stupid rolling cart thing. But I was like, I don't need like a big basket. I'll just take one of those. Anyway, um, I had a whole bunch of stuff, whole bunch of stuff in my car. I had like five dresses. I had like some bras with like skinny straps because sometimes I don't like the thick ones. Like I don't, sometimes I show through my shirts depending on what I'm wearing. Like, um, anyway, had a bunch of cute dresses and a lot of them were like, well, pretty much all of them were linen dresses. So I was really excited about them. I was like, maybe this is going to be like my dress summer. Like I'm just going to wear dresses all summer because I had like a bunch of dresses. And I thought I was going to at least get like two or three of them, but none of them ended up being good. So I was really, I was kind of bummed out. Um, one of them, the armpit holes were like so low. I would have had to wear like a tank top or something underneath it. Um, another one was like really tight across my chest. Um, I forget, I forget what's wrong with the other ones, but they were not fitting very well. And I, now I feel like with linen, like, is this the type of material where like, it's hard to have it fit right? Like it has to fit, I feel like it has to fit you or it doesn't fit you, you know what I mean? But yeah, I ended up putting a whole bunch of dresses back. So I didn't get anything for myself. I just got uh, Madison a pair of flip flops because she needs a new pair of flip flops. And I almost got Chase a new pair of sneakers, but they were the kind that like, you just slip your foot into kind of. They don't have laces or Velcro or anything. And I, I don't know, I kind of thought he was gonna have a hard time like getting his foot in, like he wouldn't be able to like loosen it enough. So I put those back. And then the other exciting thing I got was just some lint rollers because I used the last of the lint rollers. <laughs> I used the last sticky thing, so I needed more. Um, so I got those. But so yeah, didn't get anything for myself today, but that's okay. It was still fun looking around. Um, now I'm gonna go to a paint store and get that and go home. So, took a shower, everybody's in bed, um, put the laundry in the dryer. I wanted to talk about something weird. Did you ever notice that when you take a shower, the deodorant doesn't come off your armpits? <laughs> like this has been something that has been bothering me for like years now and I've kind of just like ignored it. And for a while, like about a year or so, I've been like using, I've been trying to like scrub my armpits to like, get the deodorant off and I was using like a foot brush that I had in the shower and it wasn't like that rough but it was like a bristled brush and I would be like scrubbing my armpits with that trying to get the deodorant off I don't know let me know if you guys have ever like taken notice maybe it depends on the type of deodorant you use I use Dove and it's like a I don't know it's a regular like hard not hard but like I don't know it's not like that it's not like liquidy it's like a, a stick deodorant i guess i don't know um but yeah i'd take a shower and i could still feel it like under my armpits and it would be like sticky and like i'd feel like my armpits like weren't clean and i could still like smell it like I, I would like touch it and like i could still smell a deodorant there and i'm like what the heck like why is this not coming off my armpits <laughs> so the other day i googled it and someone suggested to use rubbing alcohol so I put some rubbing alcohol on a little cotton, like a round cotton pad thing and wiped it, my armpits with it and it all came off. And last night for the first time in forever, I don't even remember how long, my armpits felt actually clean. Like the deodorant was gone, I had fresh nice armpit skin. It was very enjoyable. So just a little tip for you there if you're having the same kind of problem with deodorant not coming off, maybe try that. The only thing with that is I don't know if my armpits are going to get like irritated from constantly rubbing them with rubbing alcohol. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm thinking about switching my deodorant into like a, a gel 
kind of deodorant because I've heard like I've heard that that doesn't stay on your skin um, so I don't know quick note though I want to update you guys on something about the basement so you know how I was talking about like redoing the floor down here and everything um, I think what I'm going to do instead is just put a rug down <laughs> over this um, we do have this pole in the middle that divides the basement so I might have to get like a rug here and I, I don't know if Greg even needs a rug over there he probably doesn't even care what's over on his side but for this side I think I'm just gonna get like a nice rug to put down here just because like flooring is so expensive and I feel like if we're gonna spend money on flooring then I want to do the kitchen floor because the kitchen floor I hate it there's like gaps all over because of how it was installed like I guess it wasn't installed right or something so there's gaps everywhere there's crumbs stuck all in the floor it's gross um so yeah i'm like why am i gonna spend like a few hundred dollars to put a floor in the basement when i really want a floor upstairs like a new floor so i think that's my new plan and i feel better about that because i'll be able to get this basement like done faster because i won't be like waiting on greg to help me like put a floor down like i guess i could maybe do it by myself i don't know the only thing is it's like concrete and that we would have to I don't know there's some spots where like I pulled nails up and like the concrete kind of came up a little bit so if I was gonna put a floor down there I'd probably have to do something with that like something before like to get the floor ready to put the floor down if that makes sense so anyway I'm glad I don't have to deal with that I'm just gonna throw a rug down on there maybe I'll be able to lift those tiles up and then just put a rug down on top of it and Okay, so it is the next day now. It's actually Monday. I am very excited because I think Greg is going to put the chickens outside. The ones that are downstairs in the basement. So if he gets them outside today, then that means I can actually really get started in the basement because I'll have like room down there to like do stuff. Because um, he's trying to set up a fence outside for them. He has to like have the, chick the new chickens meet our chickens we already have. Yeah. But so they can't like attack each other so he's setting up like a baby gate next to the coop that we have so that they can kind of like meet each other or whatever so hopefully they'll be able to go outside um but i went to the library and i wanted to show you a couple books that i got um a little, little library haul so i found hansel and gretel i realized that our kids um haven't heard a lot of like classic stories and stuff so I just found this one while I was looking through the the books um Hansel and Gretel then Noah picked this one so I was like all right we can read this one Winnie the Pooh someone didn't say thank you do that one God bless you it's true I think I found this one in like the board books and I was like okay well, I can read that one to Noah um and then I got two or actually three for me that I'm excited about I got Dumbing Us Down by John Taylor Gatto. Um, and he's supposed to be really good to read when you're trying to learn about like unschooling and just like how kids learn and stuff like that. So I'll check that out. Probably not going to read the whole thing. I'll probably just skim through it. Um, and then I got Unschooled Raising Curious, Well Educated Children Outside the Conventional Classroom. Now, I don't know. I made a video talking about how I was thinking about like or leaning towards unschooling and like my thought process and stuff. But I just don't think I have the type of kids who are going to be successful doing that, really. I feel like you need to have kids who, like, love to learn and are just, like, I don't know, they love books and they like researching and they're just, like, into learning and stuff. And my kids are into, like, Minecraft and Roblox and riding bikes and, uh, you know, just, like, kid stuff. Like, Madison's... I don't think she'll ever come to me and like want to research like history or biology or anything like that so how do I make sure that she learns that stuff you know like I think I'm gonna have to be like all right well this is what you're learning this year and we just have to do it so but I do like the idea for like the idea of unschooling more for like the younger ages and stuff and kind of not like forcing them into learning like because I don't want them to get off on the wrong foot kind of like the way I feel like medicine kind of did from school uh -oh, okay, cool. um, I want like Chase is like Chase is already saying like he doesn't like school he hates school he's never been to school 
Um, and I mentioned that in my other video too. So I'm trying to kind of avoid that um, and see if we can learn and do school. Hey guys, what's up? Without him really knowing that it's schooly. Oh, and then, excuse me, buddy. Excuse me. And then I got one more book that was recommended to me by someone on, on Instagram. Um, get out of here. Oh, not because I'm going to bed. Don't go. Right, yeah, seriously. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's called You Were Made for This. So uh, we'll see how this is. I really don't even know what it's about. <laughs> But I really like books about like that are like thrillers, psychological, like uh, family drama, marriage drama, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, so we'll see. We were reading a book. Yeah, it's upside down. That's okay. Yeah, we got a book. <laughs> anyway, I think that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Like I said, I'm excited to get started on the basement if the chickens do get out of here uh today or tomorrow or something um that would be great um but yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed watching give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a sunflower in the comments if you're still here at the end and i'll see you guys for my next video bye